Hi, I'm Jim from Left Wing Libertarian. And hi, I'm Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. So, today we're talking about last minute you're going to a Thanksgiving party and you want to bring something. Now, you may have already signed up to bring the turkey and you want to bring something else. The hostess may have already told you, just bring yourself mm -hmm. and you still want to bring something to be polite. <coughs> or, heaven forbid, you were going to party A and something happened and it got moved to a different location. Somebody got sick. Somebody decided to go on a last minute trip to Disney. Mm -hmm. As they're prone to do this time of year. They are? Yes. Because they've taken advice on how to go to a last minute trip to Disney. Here's the thing. You've been invited to Thanksgiving dinner. You're not responsible for one of the main features on the table. You're not responsible for the turkey or one of the side dishes. The hostess invites you and you say, what can I bring? And they say, oh, just bring yourselves, just bring anything. Whatever you want to do is fine. You don't want to duplicate stuffing. You're not going to bring stuffing if they haven't told you to bring stuffing. You're not going to make a big plate of mashed potatoes. They're not going to rely on you to bring mashed potatoes. But stuff happens. You put it off to the last minute, you get a snowstorm. You put it off to the last minute and both of your kids wake up the day before Thanksgiving and they're sick and it throws your whole schedule off. So the things that we have on the list of things you could bring to Thanksgiving dinner at the last minute are all things that are readily available at your local convenience store, 7-Eleven, Wawa. They're available if you have Walmart that's open Thanksgiving morning. They are really items that you could just run in, grab and run out, make a quick presentation and you're good to go. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the mixed nuts. Yes, now of course don't bring these because these are half used. You don't wanna bring half used, half open mixed nuts. Now those you can get though, we get them at Costco. We get ours at Costco, but you will find these in the convenience store, you will find them at Walmart, they come in the little cans. CVS and Wegmans carry. CVS, Rite Aid, all the drugstores. Find them in the little cans. You don't even have to bring them in the little cans, although I noticed when I was shopping the other day that the cans now come in gift packs with like a faux bow painted on the box. You actually could bring the three cans of mixed nuts in the box. But we happen to keep, you go to the dollar store, just have in your house a couple of plain white bowls or plain white something, put them in that, wrap it with plastic wrap, tie a bow around it, and it makes a nice little thing on the table. I think the short answer though for mixed nuts is that if you're at a party and there is that in a $1 can, and it helps everybody at the party to sit around and snack and talk for just an extra half hour, it's way better than something fancy in a $20 box that, that is gonna be thrown in the trash anyway. Well, and that's kind of what happens. You know, after you eat Thanksgiving dinner, everybody is so full, you're not gonna put dessert out on the table right away. The dishes are all clear, people are sitting around and they're talking. You could take this and dump it into three or four little bowls, spread it out across your table. People will sit there, even if they're not hungry, it's just something salty, something chewy. While you're sitting there crunching, having a chat, it's, it's a nice way to extend the community feeling of Thanksgiving dinner, the together time of Thanksgiving dinner. So that's one option you could bring at the last minute. What else? Another standby, readily available, a bottle of wine. Now, you know you're having turkey, white wine is better with turkey, but there are gonna be multiple courses. Bring a dessert. Here, here's the short answer on wine. If you're a wine gourmet, expert, snob, whatever it is, that level of talent that you're at, you know what wine to get, what wine to bring. If you're not, just get the kind of wine that you like. Yeah, get because the kind of wine at least like. one person at the party will drink it. At least you will drink it. That's correct. But you know, it doesn't matter what kind of wine you bring. Almost everywhere you go on Thanksgiving, there are going to be multiple courses. Your wine is going to go with some course. Oh, here's another good point. Our liquor store around the corner, our neighborhood liquor store, uh, is not speaks volumes. Yes, yes, it does. Kind of neighborhood that we live in. When you marry an Irish girl. Uh, the beauty of our neighborhood liquor store is um, it, it just isn't some joint. Those guys that work there have wine tastings throughout the week. It is um, the liquor store around here that's really good for wine. There's another one a mile down the road, again, speaks volumes about our neighborhood, where they don't do the wine stuff, but they do a bunch of beer things all the time. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it's not like you have to even go to a fancy sort of store. It's just... You don't. Go to the neighborhood liquor store, Wegmans, some of your supermarkets, depending on where you live. We don't have it in New Jersey, but some of your supermarkets, some of your drug stores will have wine available. Don't expect those people to give you good advice about, you know, your wine choice or your, you know, your beverage selection. But 
again, it doesn't really matter what kind you bring. Someone will drink it. It's going to go with one of the courses that your hostess is serving. Um, and like you said, buy one that you drink. And if no one else at the party drinks it, you know, at least you will, will benefit from it. And the, the hostess will feel good because at least she knows that she's got you covered for... And if nothing else, it looks pretty on their wine rack for the next year. It does. It does. Suggestion for last minute Christmas gift. A wine rack? If your host at the party doesn't have a wine rack, you can get a small wine rack for that holds 10, 12 bottles for a couple of Which is of what we have, because we don't really drink a lot of wine, but we do have the wine rack. But it does look pretty in the dining room. It does. It adds yep. to our dining room. Yep. So another thing, <coughs> so another thing you could get, cheese. Uh, this, is, by the way, is started out as the world's greatest cheese tray, but if you watch our previous video, you'll find out that it's... It's an okay this, cheese This tray. is not the world's greatest cheese tray, although some of the cheese tastes very yummy. However... Yeah, somebody keeps eating it. Someone keeps eating it. I don't know who now, it is. The beauty of the cheese tray is you can get cheese at 7-Eleven on your way somewhere to a party, especially if you didn't know you were going. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there is also that possibility. Somebody may have said they were just, they didn't feel like going. They were a little shy. They were reluctant to go. Whatever the reason is, run in, just grab two or three things, listen to the video that Anna did about how to make the world's greatest cheese tray. And you know, perfect it. But mm. even if it's an okay cheese tray, it's still nice to bring something. And you don't have to go broke doing it. Again, this little platter, which I love, it was a pack of three of them with three serving tools for like $6 at Costco. They're perfect for things like cheeses, cookies, anything. Again, you can wrap it up in cellophane, wrap it up in plastic wrap, take it to your hostess. She can put it immediately on the table it is good to go and like you said you can get different kinds of cheese at Walgreens Walmart you know you're not gonna get fancy cheeses but really two or three decent cheeses that people are gonna know and identify a Colby cheese you know a sharp cheddar just something that you can put on a plate something you can do very quickly add a handful of the mixed nuts even if it is out of your open jar and a little strip of crackers and you have a very nice accompaniment to someone's Thanksgiving dinner. Let me guide this down to you. If you're in the military and you're not married to some Irish girl yet and you're having a last minute party, you can show up with Swiss, uh, American, and some other color and some K-R-A-C-K-E-R-S in a supermarket plastic bag. And when you get there, say, hey, do you got a knife? And then just cut it up there and put it on a paper plate. The point is, it's all about the party. It doesn't matter how fancy it is. It doesn't matter how fancy it is. Although, again, keep these things in your house. You know, I don't mind giving this away. It wasn't that expensive. And again, at the last minute, sick kids, snowy outside, I don't want to go out, you know, to get anything fancy. I just grab some cheeses out of your local grocery store, the local Walmart, wherever you get your, you know, quick last minute things. And you can put something together that's nice and that will sit on someone's buffet table or sit on their dinner table and their guests will enjoy. Gaming geeks, something like this, going to a board game party over the holidays, makes for a very nice presentation where you've got you know stuff on the table while you're playing Catan. Mm -hmm. So some of the other options that you could use... Um, well, that was... What do we got so far? We did uh, nuts. Nuts, cheese, cheese and wine. wine. That's three. That's three. Uh, chips and dip. Again, something super, super quick that you could put together. Now that means grab a bag of Ruffles or grab a bag of Doritos and get a thing of salsa. Yeah, just something quick and easy. And again, this is a hostess that has told you you don't need to bring anything. They will appreciate whatever you bring. Now my father, who's passed away, was a gourmet over those little cans that went with the... <laughs> <laughs> a gourmet of cans. Just <laughs> go ahead. There, there's these little cans that are about this big. And in it, they had $1,000 caviar. Yeah, see? There you go, little can. See? You want to mock my <laughs> mock my dead father now? Did you feel bad? If you feel bad, please post in the comments that Anna was a jackass for mocking my father. I'm not mocking your father, but okay. I don't think he was eating $1,000 cans of caviar. Okay. They have these little cans in the, in the potato chip section. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead. What? Do you know what I'm talking about? I know right? what you're talking about. Oh well, then take it over. I mean, if you, I don't. I, don't I cannot. I cannot, in good conscience, tell people to bring those little cans of French's onion dip to a party. They're nasty. You know, if it's a last minute party, it's something you can bring. And the beauty okay. of those Honestly, is, honestly, if it's a last minute party, I can run into Walgreens right across the street and get a container of sour cream and a thing of onion soup mix and make it myself, and it won't be nasty, rank. You know, we need to do a video on how to make that. 
Because I don't think everybody knows how to make that stuff. Everybody knows well, how to Well, my father didn't. I mean, that's why he got the little cans. <clears throat> yeah. That requires mixing and stuff. Yeah, it requires mixing and stuff. And a spoon. And a spoon. Yes. <laughs> you could use a knife in a pinch. Um, but it's easy. If you have to, if you're in the military, which apparently means you don't know anything about anything. Hey, you know when you're on a budget. You're on a budget. It's I'm thinking of the 99 truth. cents for a container of sour cream and you know another 99 cents for a packet of onion soup mix. You two things, you mix them together, you stir it with whatever you have to use your finger. No one will see. Just mix it right up there. And a bag of potato chips. It's less than $5. You have a nice little thing that you can put on someone's table. If you're in the barracks and you're trying to impress us by making this, we're going to beat you up. But if you have a chance to go on a date with some girl off base, oh, by all means, go this fancy route. I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> the fancy route to making onion dip. Um, but again, it's quick. It's okay. easy. Like you said, you could do chips and salsa, which doesn't require any mixing, chopping, dicing, spoons, knives, forks, anything no, else. No, you can actually pour it right into a plastic cup. Pour it right it into a plastic cup. That's right. Um, oh, by the way, thing, most important Doritos to get, scoops or chips? Which is better? We do scoops most of the time. But that's because just we have children. We have kids. Um, but you know what? We've had people at parties that have spilled stuff all over the house. Mostly wine. Mostly wine. Mostly red wine. We still invite them back. Because we, we have hardwood floors. We don't care. Spill what you want. that's why we have scoops, too. Um, another okay, thing, so we've got nuts, we've got wine, mm -hmm. we've got cheese, and we've got chips and dip. That's mm -hmm. four. What else we got? Another thing you could bring is cookies. Um, and it doesn't have to be, again, fancy cookies. You don't have to go to a bakery. You don't have to home make your cookies. You can walk into any department store, any Walgreens, any Walmart, any anything, and find some kind of package of cookies. All you have to do, again, put it on an inexpensive tray, put it on a paper plate if that's what you have, wrap it up in tin foil or plastic wrap, put a bow on it, tie a bow on it. It could be Oreos and chocolate chip cookies. Well, I think that brings up a point. I mean, we're talking about a cookie that everybody would like, not like a, like a Vienna finger. You know, we're talking like something weird or, you know, we're talking you, about like... You used to love Vienna Fingers. That was like your cookie when we first started dating. Anytime we bought cookies, well, that was, was until Well, that was until you actually started baking them. And then once you started making them, I shifted to the to the better cookie. Yeah. Although actually, that wasn't my favorite. My favorite was a Pepperidge Farm cookie. And I could only buy that when I had five bucks per cookie. You know, because it was... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it cost a lot for Pepperidge Farm for yes. some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> but again, we just had a... Um, Thanksgiving feast at, at school today for the kindergarten children and uh, one of the moms brought... Can I read your cheat sheet? You can. One of the moms brought um, in packages Chips Ahoy cookies with M&Ms in them. The kids love them. So it doesn't matter if it's a packaged cookie. The kids are going to like them. It doesn't matter what it looks like or where it came from or who baked it. The little elves in the tree or, you know, grandma down the street. It doesn't matter to them. It's a cookie. They're going to eat it. And you know, buy two different kinds. Buy chocolate chips and Oreos. Put them on a platter. Arrange them nice. It's just a nice something that you could bring to add to somebody's <clears throat> Thanksgiving meal. Makes it look nice. If you're on the cheap and you pick up a box of Oreos or a box of Chip Ahoy's and hand it to them, here you go. Brought this for the party. They're going to appreciate it anyway. The point is, they're going to appreciate your company and whatever you bring. This is true. Yeah. Why am I the voice of cheap here? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because between the two of us, but I'm the cheap will, one. Pe yes, and people will talk about you behind their back. <laughs> You're back. <coughs> so, <clears throat> the other thing that you can get really anywhere is fruit. Don't buy this at the gas station. The other things we've you mentioned... Can you can it buy it at the gas station. We have driven down 95 the day before a holiday, the day of a holiday. Every truck stop... That's not a gas station, by the way. Everything we're talking about here, you can buy at a truck stop reliably. You can. Because they churn over <clears throat> such a huge business. You can. But you can go to a Starbucks and get fresh fresh bananas. You can go to a 7-Eleven or a Wawa and get fresh fruit. You can get grapes already washed and ready to go. You can put together a small fruit tray and get a can of, you know, a, a container, a Cool Whip or something that you can dip the fruit in. 
and it's it's a two minute run in run out of the store by the way we're i'm not actually mocking this i'm being very sincere everything that we've just said here you could go pick up at a busy truck stop on an interstate on the way to a party somewhere you could i mean we've gotten almost all of this stuff at one time or another because everything we just mentioned besides holidays makes for great stuff when you're traveling with the kids across we country. are having a christmas eve party at our hotel room in disney we may be stopping at a truck stop and feeding people for those of you coming, uh, pretend you didn't hear that part. Shh, we didn't say this. Cans of... <laughs> it's fake just for this video. Onion soup mix. <laughs> we didn't mean it. But again, you're in a pinch. That's what we're talking about. It's the last minute. You're in a pinch. You can get fresh fruit at any of the local stores. Walgreens has something. Starbucks has something. Um, where else did we say? Most Wawa 7-Elevens has some kind of fresh fruit. And you don't need a huge tray. You're not supplying the fruit for the entire party. You're just bringing a little something for the guests to nosh on. And again, if everybody brings a little something, it makes it a wonderful party for everybody. It does. It is greater than the sum of its parts. It is, absolutely. Your gift will be appreciated. Even if you didn't put a lot of thought into it because other things come up, people understand that. And if a hostess has told you to bring nothing but yourselves, Anything over and above yourself is going to be very much appreciated. Do not feel obligated, though. I mean, the point is, if they tell you they want your company there, they really do mean they want your company there. There's no sort of hidden message implied that you must bring an apple pie or something. Not always. Not always. Sometimes? Sometimes. You never know. Is there someone we could write to that would give us their opinion on how to handle that situation? I think Dear Abby has passed away. Hmm. So they could write to you? Right to me. How I will do they tell write you, to you? I will tell you honestly if I expect you to bring an apple pie after I've told you to bring nothing. And I will tell you honestly if I'm going to talk about you behind your back when you don't bring the apple pie that I told you not to bring. Are we wrapping this up? We're done. We're done. So if you would like to subscribe to watch more videos, please just click the button that you'll find right below us. And I am at. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I forgot. I am Anna from beautygirlsmom.com. See you real soon. Interruptosaurus. See you real soon.